guys, Chris Amos here with Winding Road Magazine. Today I'm here with Jason Harding, who is on the camera right now. He's going to be the POV test driver. Jason Harding is with KTEC, and he has built this amazing Z06. We're going to talk all about it and go for a little test drive, and we're going to follow up with a track drive in a couple weeks. basically just got this thing built very recently and wrapped up, right? We've been working on this for the last couple years, developing new parts for the C7. So it's under a state of constant development. We just finished up a few major things for this year, and we're done with those now. Awesome. So if you were just kind of give me an overview, what's the purpose of this car? Is this a time attack car? Is this a development car for you guys mostly? Or? This is really a development and marketing car. We use it to showcase our products, make sure we have cutting edge new products for the C7 as soon as it came out. So we've been continuously working on that.
stock Z07 brakes. Okay. Um, it's got Carbotech pads in the front. Other than that, it's stock brakes. Okay, cool. They seem quiet, no squeals or anything? Yeah. The, uh, I found the Carbotech brakes, even their upgraded pad, being that they're for a carbon ceramic brake, they don't have a brake noise like you would find on a track pad for a steel brake. That's fantastic. You have to do anything with fluid or uh, lines? Or yeah, we use AP600 brake fluid. Um, it's got some brake cooler ducts that go along with the uh, intercooler system because we eliminate the factory ducts with the, uh, the heat exchangers. Okay. Um, but other than that, pretty stock brake wise. So it seems like this is, I mean, this is a completely a, a full build. I mean, you've done, you've addressed just about everything on this car. I'm sure there's still some more things you want to work on in the future, but is there a, what, what type of kits are you going to be breaking this down into? Are you going to be selling this in different types of uh, iterations? Or? Basically, this is an installed vehicle package, the Stage 3 system, and the E85 is an option under that package. Uh, a lot of the components, though, we sell in our online store. Uh, we sell it to other shops around the country in case you're too far away to come into K-Tech to get the full build done. Uh, you can have your local shop or one of our well-known uh, dealer shops install for you. But to get the true K-Tech package with the serial number and the warranty, you do have to have it installed at K-Tech facility in Michigan. What kind of, what kind of warranty do you guys do? We do a 12-month, 12 12,000-mile 12, warranty on uh, our installed vehicle packages. We just put on our new KT1 forged wheels. It's a monoblock wheel, 19 and 20. Okay. We partnered with Forgeline for our own signature design, which we're selling as a KTEC wheel. And that just was released the other day. That's really cool. So, do you have pricing out for packages like this yet? Yeah, our standardized packages pricing is on our website okay. at ktechperformance.com. Speaking of websites, we just launched a new sidebar website called the ktechnetwork.com and we're posting weekly videos, uh, how-to stuff, little tech articles, product demonstrations, new product releases, and full vehicle build videos. So check that out as well as our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash ktechperformance. We're also very active on Instagram and Facebook, so search for ktech on Instagram and Facebook and follow us there for a lot of inside photos in the shop, what we're doing. systems. This is the course of sport. Okay. Uh, we've done some signature stuff with them. We're working on more. Um, basically course that goes on almost all of our vehicle packages. Well, from my experience, I mean, their exhausts are kind of completely unique in the marketplace. They, like, when you're cruising in this situation, it's totally local. There's no drone. It's crazy. And then when you get on it, it's, well, you, we've heard it, it's just super loud. It's amazing. Yeah, they're the best choice, really, for no drone cruising, um, even with a very a wildly modified packages like this. Yeah. Uh, it's still very docile as we can cruise down at 70 miles an hour right now. This is a pretty wild cam in it too, isn't it? Yeah, we don't need anything really aggressive for boosted application. You don't want that uh, as much overlap as you would on a naturally aspirated, which is what affects the drivability. So we've developed a spring package for this camshaft. It's been tested on our Spintron for valve strength stability. Uh, so we sell uh, a pack spring with it and uh, the GM high speed lighter weight lifter. Then we have an AFM delete plate uh, that goes in place of the valley cover to delete the active fuel management. This is great man, I'm very impressed. You never know what to expect with highly modified cars. You know, some, some companies they, they do a really nice job and they're almost like if GM did it themselves, they're almost going to be a ball right. or even better. Um, and that's kind of what I'm feeling here. I love the rev match on the car. I use it all the time on the street just because it's so much fun.
I've been at KTEC for 11 years now. Okay. Uh, What's your role? I'm the director of aftermarket operations, so I oversee everything in the aftermarket, um, customer builds, sales, new product development, marketing, advertising, social media. We're a small company, so we all wear a lot of hats. Yeah, yeah, of course. Left, right? Uh, let's go. Today you're wearing a hat with a camera attached to it. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for bringing this out, man. This is awesome. Right? No problem. It's always really cool getting in, uh, you know, just the stuff that's a little bit more exciting than, you know, what rolls off the factory floor. This has a lot of our carbon fiber stuff on it, too. We make our own brand of carbon fiber parts. Uh, we make the side skirts, the OE style splitter, okay. the splitter end plates for the stage two or the stage three, the front splitter wickers, which are also known as the spats that go up the uh, fender. Yep. Make the factory rear spoiler and the uh, spoiler wickers, as well as a rear diffuser with diffuser strikes. Some of the bigger aero stuff on this car is the ticked big splitter and the tick wing. Let's just pull off right here. We'll do a little walk around real quick. I'd like to see some of the stuff in the engine bay too. Um, sure. Let's walk around a little bit of that as well. So we make the factory splitter, um, and we make these end plates to, ref or to uh, replace the factory stage three sp splitter end plates. Uh, there's also a stage two splitter end plate. Uh, this large splitter is the tick part, and this is part of the heat exchanger system. So in the front, we eliminate the heat exchanger that blocks the radiator, and we move them to the corners, and you can see they're fed through yep. these ducts here that exit out some grills in the wheelhouse liner. Now, when you say you make the factory splitter, is that GM factory, or is this just it, a factory-like splitter? It's a representation of the, what you see on the level 2 and 3 arrow. Okay, cool. So it's just a replacement splitter. Um, it uses a factory under tray. This is the big race under tray from Ticked. This is a K-Tech wicker. Awesome. This is gorgeous. Great carbon fiber work. We make the side skirts. All of our carbon fiber is made right here in Michigan, uh, the K-Tech parts. The Tick parts are made in Germany. Um, and they're pure carbon fiber, no fiberglass overlays. It's it's real race stuff. We make the factory spoiler and the wickers that go on it. Uh, we don't run the wickers when we run the big wing. This is the ticked wing, and that's the K-Tick diffuser with the strakes. And show me just really quickly how this quick release works so you can open up the trunk. Sure. That's pretty neat. Pop it from I could pop it here. So we pull a couple of pins on the splitter, or this this wing. You can see the pin. We've done this about eight times already today. But this slips back. It's pretty cool to get the camera. The button there to pop the deck lid. And then you can pop the deck lid and have access to your storage. And you can go golfing. Yeah, you can go golfing. Yeah. And the new KTEC KT1 wheels. Forged monoblock. 19 by 10 in the front, 20 by 12 in the rear. So this is our stage three package. Um, it's got a KTEC valve covers on it also with our coil brackets. As you can see a 103 millimeter throttle body and the snout is ported to accept that. Haltech carbon fiber air intake system. We make the carbon fiber radiator exit duct there that you see. These lines are part of the intercooler system. Okay. So there's heat exchangers that are in front of the uh, in the front fascia. There's twin pumps, individual circuits on each side that pump through to the billet adapters here that go to the factory intercooler bricks, and the tanks are under the fenders here. So you just fill at this point um, the intercooler tanks. How much of the development on this carried over from previous uh, products that you guys have come out with? There's a lot of this. I mean, I'm sure a lot of this is very specific to these new cars, um, and you learned a lot along the way, but how much, you say to you, this has been in development for about three years? We've been working with LTs now for uh, at least three years. We got an LT1 in 2013, 
uh, late 2013 and began the development. We were the first with a 427 cubic inch LT1. We have a 700 horsepower naturally aspirated LT1, and we're currently uh, working on an even hotter version of that. So we've been learning a lot with the new uh, engine control system, which carried over to the LT4, um, the direct injection system, the active fuel management parts, the va variable valve timing. Um, so we've got a lot of time into development on all those systems and, and uh, figuring out what, what kind of parts we're going to need to manufacture at our facility uh, to make these packages. And we have key technical partners like Tict and Forge Line for the wheels and uh, Corsa is our exhaust partner and DSC Sport on suspension. Um, so we turn to technical partners uh, to do some stuff and we manufacture a lot of our own parts in-house. Yeah, we've been, we've been really pushing the aftermarket since I got there about 11 years ago. Um, it's becoming a larger and larger part of our business during the aftermarket cars. We, we still do professional motorsports, uh, but that business is always changing and we know we want to be out there with the street cars and uh, developing products for people to buy online. So what would it cost a customer to duplicate a car like this? Ballpark. To get the works package like this, we're doing one right now that's about 80,000 in modifications uh, okay. on top of the purchase of a car. That's a, that's everything you see here. And that's with a warranty. Yes. That's pretty awesome. However, you can get through the street a lot of the power for a very reasonable price because you already have the supercharger. You know, we just have to do that stage three package. And for of our own $12,000, you can have 800 horsepower for the street. Now this has a lot of the track fo focused cooling items and the, the big arrow and stuff like that and the suspension, it starts to add up. But we do a lot of the stage three street version packages uh, that are very reasonable to get the 800 horsepower. And those are totally safe for the street. You don't need all that crazy cooling for track work. No, you don't need the cooling uh, if it's just a street car only. You know, if you do like highway pulls, you might notice some heat soak, which the cooling system would alleviate that, but you wouldn't have any overheating problems like you, some people are seeing on the track. Let's take a right, there's like a sharp right-hander where you kind of feel low speed cornering. can even change them with the mode select knob through three different maps. But since it's G-Force based, I really don't think you need to because when you're at zero G, it's smooth, even in track mode. Yeah, and you can't feel it, it's amazing. And that's how, that's how it is stock. It's the same, pretty much, 